Yankees hosting the Angels. The Angels are plus 215 on the money line. The Yankees are minus 260. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Angels getting a run and a half on the run line are plus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 126, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And usually what happens with doubleheaders, the team that wins the first game loses the second game and loses it in dramatic fashion, which is why I never do doubleheaders because you never know who's going to pitch and you never know what the hell they're going to do with the lineups because they love to swap them out last minute. Now, this game, of course, is also in game danger because of the weather. I saw it before. It is supposed to be 71 degrees, 10 mile an hour winds blowing in, and a 53% chance of rain. So they probably won't uh, postpone the game, but they probably will delay it. Now, Anderson pitched once against the Yankees this year. Five innings, one run, one earned. They lost 2-1. He struck out four. Cortez pitched once against the Angels this year. Five and a third, two runs, two earned. They lost 4-3. That was in LA, and they struck. he struck out four. And I believe that was when he was pitching atrociously, and he just couldn't get a win to save his life. Now, head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5 five and five against each other. The home team is 7-3. and three. The favorite is 7-3 and three on, his, on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been four one-run games in their last 10. The under is 6-4, and four, and the under 8.5 is 6-4. and four. The Angels are 3-2 and two in Anderson's last five starts. They've lost his last two starts. The under is hitting his last three starts. The under is 4-1 and one in his last five. Six and a third innings pitched, 5.2 hits, 2.2 earned runs, seven strikeouts, 0.8 walks, 0.8 home runs. He's given up home runs in back-to-back -back starts. 97.4 pitches per game, 15.8 pitches per inning. So not pitching terribly. He's pitching pretty well in his last uh, five starts. And for the Yankees, 1-4 and four in Cortez's last five starts, and he's not pitching very well. The over is hitting his last four. The over is 4-0-1. Four, and one. four and two-thirds innings pitched, six hits, 3.8 earned runs, 4.8 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, 1.2 home runs. He gave up a home run in his last start. 93.2 pitches per game, 19.1 pitches per inning. The Angels are 3-1 and one in their last four. Nine runs, five runs, seven runs. And then 10 runs, eight, uh, five runs in a win, three runs in a win, two runs in a loss, eight runs in a win. For the Yankees, they're three and one in their last four. They are eight and two in their last 10. 11 runs, seven runs, seven runs, 10 runs. Eight runs in a win, four runs in a win, five runs in a win, two runs in a loss. The problem with this game is the fact that the Yankees actually have offense. And if Anderson goes six innings and pitches magnificently, it still leaves the bullpen up there. Now, I'm still going to take a shot here with the Angels. I'll take the Angels with the money line. I will take the Angels getting the runs. And I'm going to lean I'm going to lean under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.